What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Young. I'm Jarek. I'm Zach. I'm Mary Jean Uzumaki. I'm Kay. I'm Curtis. I'm here so I don't get fined. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. Jamal's food. Um, must be deja vu because <laughs> must be deja vu because you're back on the page and not subscribe. I've been told it's the opposite of deja. I got, I got you. We, we can get into. It. Must be deja vu though because you're back on the channel and you're not subscribed. I don't know what you're doing here. It's the seventh video in a row you watch and you didn't hit that button. Hit the button, become a real redeemer today. Also, jump on the Patreon. We're going to be doing the live version of this today, and we got a special treat, a try treat that is. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what country it could be from. Try Why? Treats is a subscription based program where you can get food and snacks delivered right to your doorstep. Please use the link in the description. Uh, it's going to be the code in there Redemption46. Get 15% off your first purchase today. Um, oh, that's generous. What's in the box? <laughs> What's, What's in the box? box? Let's, let's, let's I think it's a, a European country. Again. Everybody have a listen. It's snacks. Uh. I'll say Germany. That we should try, right? I <laughs> would oh, say shit. Poland. <laughs> I'm going to go with Poland. I think I feel like we had Poland before. Yeah, okay, I, okay, Poland. okay. So, yeah. not Poland. It's a European like country. Guardian. I can feel it. I'll say Africa. <laughs> oh, it is. I can't see. Italy. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. Right. Montevela. Oh, sorry. Oh, I do <laughs> not. <laughs> Calm down. This is uh, Italian. Shout out to uh, Rondo Sturdy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> grazie, grazie. Some, some drill music. Let's man. go. If you know, you know, for our Italian redeemers. That looks good. Actually, I actually can't wait to try that. You want to get a beautiful shot of all this hazelnut wafers? <gasps> wafers. Oh, my God. I love wafers. Tuscan yes. crisps. Let's nice. Let's see how Tuscan and how crispy they are. I want to open them first. Oh, uh, you want to open them first. I want to open something. Oh, please. 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 What did you say? Oh, yeah, let me get the wafer. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. No, let me I'm not making it back. <laughs> I'm making it back. <laughs> These are really good. Very good. Just use them with some, uh -huh. some dip. Mm -hmm. I need it. I need it. What flavor? Sour, sour cream. Put it on you. Nice. Our reactions are a real treat, so make sure you guys are subscribed to oh the channel. Oh, my God. Sounds like a bird. I am so sorry. So... No long talk. Let's jump into the video and have a dope conversation when they done. Shout out to Jen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Jen. Happy Jen. birthday. Where is camera? Make sure you jump on the Patreon. I to go. No long talk. So in we go. In we go. I guess I gotta deal with it, deal with this real world. Hey, oh, try to get me when you catch me. No more pony gun. I need to help my mandy. We got another star. One bell catching more to do. Not a tante. Breaking my head, breaking my step. Always, cause I go she put girl. Who gets what she put on the
clean man i thought the production was pretty good on here um i like how aggressive those uh kicks and uh like the uh the bass drop is on here mm-hmm. um certain uh melodies and flows on here were pretty dope um the song got uh, a little bit better as it like picked up though um at first it was not so much at a drop point but i can see that it was kind of trying to build up until it hit uh, but when it hit, it did that at an efficient and an elite level. Yeah, but all in all, um, like I thought this picked up very well. Um, I've uh, like heard some of this before when they did the compilation videos, but I like been avoiding it because um, like a lot of people been talking about it and stuff. Um, like it was good. It's not quite a download for me. Still think it's a beautiful song. Um, and I think it probably would slap in a car and I'm anxious to hear how it's going to be live. Um, I know uh, like the meaning behind some of it already, um, so it was kind of interesting to see how they were going to concept- conceptualize that phrase and what they were going to like kind of do with it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like to, to kind of play with it. Not I- yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty sure like I, I I like that, and I'll let everybody get into this spill because I'm not going to get into what everything means. Mm-hmm. So. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite BTS songs. Um, just looking at, it, I think it when I looked at the wrap up and shit, I think it was like top twelve or whatever at the end of it. Um, it's just so beautiful. I was this is like an unexpected subunit, um, a different three J's kind of. So you know, you're not used to really hearing Jin get so many lines and everything like that in tandem with other members and everything. But I think him and Jungkook really like did some masterful work on this um they really sound super vulnerable and just kind of you know like you felt the emotion in it. and bang tan like i said we always say how the thing that separates them from a lot of groups outside of like army is a fan base is that they tap into a, a certain level of emotions that is just kind of unparalleled with a lot of artists especially today mm-hmm. true emotions at that so i think that's pretty dope um in this you kind of get hosuk rapping like some of his best rapping that he's ever done and he actually alluded to a few things that we got on jack in the box like equal sign and everything like that and just kind of some existential stuff really you know thinking outside of himself and just talking about you know you can't control me but like i said i won't get too much in that my favorite thing about this is definitely the way the production and the harmonies went together because that's what kind of got my heart and everything with it but um yeah man like i said if y'all been watching i've probably been like throwing hints singing this shit in some videos or whatever like that so y'all know i love it army we'll talk about some more on the live what's up bro um i like this uh i would have to say agree with you nick it did have to take some time to um like pick up the beat when it dropped it did surprise me of how hard it was gonna drop and that's when you me i really i started really getting into it i really love the you know Give me a remedy. Um, yeah, I really love that part. It's that a part good cadence. Really got yeah, it's catchy. Um, this is a beautiful song. I'm. I'm I want to hear it some more before I can say it's a download. But I really liked it. 
a remedy. It kind of rhymed like a girl we're fighting for. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you know you bring it up. I'm a sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I like this. I felt like this was the perfect, like, arrangement, like placement where J Hope was in the song. His rap uh, line was probably perfect with the remedy, that little whole flow. I actually do like this a lot. I like Jin and J K, but you already know. Hope all you know the vibes. Lo, you already know the vibes. Mm-hmm. It was but very yeah, yeah, very, very calming. I do want to see this live. I can't wait to see this live. I want to see the crowd's interaction with this. See how they reacted to that remedy. <laughs> see if they was like. See how they reacted to that. Yeah, if they was crying. like. Yeah. <laughs> like if they was like, oh, like we were. This but so I got here. something for you. <laughs> I do like this. You know, the only thing I keep thinking about is I wish I could sing. Mm. Um, <laughs> this was very beautiful. Um, I love the arrangement of all of them. I've, I'm, you're correct. I, I never expected them to be different like. Different three J's, right? This is this is kind of strange. <coughs> it's different in a great off. way. You know, um, this was this was interesting to see. I think all of them. <laughs> executed very well but the hook is so catchy that it just makes you kind of want to sing and you know this is one of those songs that like if you listen to it in the shower you might finesse your own ear to thinking you could sing (laughs) and you start hitting notes in the shower (laughs) nothing better than a shower concert or a car job. Because I'm going to download this and sing it in the shower at full blast. And she's going to be like, hey, please. And they're like, you're <laughs> not, <laughs> you're not Jen. Well, Relax. Yes, you, need need you, <laughs> you need a remedy. You need a remedy. You need a remedy. Stop singing this. <laughs> you're not JK. <laughs> <laughs> you need a remedy. You're not JK. <laughs> um, oh, my God. That was loud. Yeah, right? Uh, she was it just hit me in the feels. Like, I literally had to hold back a little bit of tears because the lyrics, I'm sure they're not relating to me on the, the level that I'm relating to this song on, but just the words, you know, like, you can't control me, all that stuff. It's just like, yeah, it hit me in a way that I didn't expect. And I just love it. And I'm downloading it just because it's a vibe, too. And... I need to listen to it more, but I'm going to download it to listen to it more. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a beautiful song. Like you, everybody said, it's a beautiful arrangement. And it's just, it's calming, like you said. So, yeah, I'm going to download it, and I'm just going to probably run it into the ground. <laughs> I'm going to sing it in the shower to the point where... Cheyenne will probably murder me. Who is that? <laughs> um, excuse me. Mary Jane Uzumaki will probably try to murder me. But, you know. <laughs> I love you, sis. <laughs> BTS finds you when you need them the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. I was like, I need. I kind of needed this song. So <laughs> I, I kind of needed it. So that was a good song. So, yeah. Big ups to, to um, the Jays. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. three J's. That's fine. Yeah, that not, not the subunit of uh, right, you know, the dance unit. I, I don't. <laughs> three J's are weird, too. Subunit's back. I'm, I'm talking about these guys. I thought the song was okay. Um, the song didn't pick up for me until the second half when the beat picked up. Uh, before then, it. I don't want to kind of regulate this to almost the other B sides that I've heard, but it wasn't anything that stood out for me um, as for, prior to that. Once the beat did come in, it didn't really take it up to a point where I want to download it. Um, it definitely did sound good, though. Um, I do like the production. Um, I like the layering. I like all the elements and aspects of the song. Um, I like the arrangement from a producer standpoint, but something about the lyrics just did not reach out and hit me. Um, and that's fine. Uh, but all in all, I thought the song was, was solid, but it just wasn't something that I would necessarily reach out to. Mm. Not download worthy, though. Not for me. What did you try yeah. to sing <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, the, the remedy part is catchy, um, but 
Mm, no. That's the funny thing, too, with they B-sides. I feel like uh, with they B-sides, especially for all of us up here, it, it either kind of, like, hits you or it, like, don't um, in the sense of, like, you kind of really in love with it instantly or it's one of those things where you respect the production behind it and you like all the elements, but it just don't click for you kind of how it does with other people. I find that interesting because it'll be, like, eight of us up here. It might click for four and not click for, like, the other four, and it's just that's, that's dope. Like, the thing about them, though, music. like, you can't deny the work that goes into each and every song. You can't deny the the effort that's put in from production level, even if you don't fuck with the song. Mm -hmm. um, like there are aspects that uh, in any song that's like ah, uh, you know, I don't know. But like everything down to production, everything, everything is is a one. But if the song don't hit, it just don't hit, and it's not going for everybody. Um, and that's kind of the the happy tragic part of it. But it's just nah. Yeah, I, I like this a lot, honestly. It's, um, like, aside from, like, all the, the arrangements and the production of it, I mean, I do like the elements that are, like, um, like the, the kind of build-up to everything because uh, it, it kind of is a little bit more of that plating this, I suppose. I it. But it's, like, um, like I, I do it. think the remedy and, um, you know, the, the melodies of the hook are, are really catchy in and of themselves. And I do love the, the trade-off uh, vocally that they had with Jin and JK. Um I definitely love the the breathiness of JK, uh, particularly when he's talking about like, like give me like a memory, a, me uh, a melody, and then he said uh, one other word after that, but it was uh, towards the bridge. It wasn't specifically in the hook, but I, I basically like the kind of pleading like breathiness that he uh, had in his inflections with with those words because it, it you know gives a little bit more meaning I think to the words or allows a little bit more emotion to kind of um, gravitate towards you I suppose. Um, and I love, you know, we always talk about the power of Jin's voice and everything, but I love how, I don't want to say necessarily contained it is, but it's like, it's like a, like, there's almost like a timidness uh, kind of to it. Um, and I think that's really interesting because it's like, you know, um, we talked about it uh, the other day, Nick, as far as like, uh, almost like head and heart, head oh, voice and heart yeah. voice. It, it kind of feels like there's a little bit of tugging at those things. Like kind of how to continue, you know, mentally, like with, you know, your head, but then your heart not really being kind of... Um, you know, in it, so I, I like the, the relationship between that and how they conveyed those things vocally. Um, J-Hope's lyrics, though, are, are what I would say stands out to me the most. Um, knowing, like, how much kind of pain he's, he's really putting into the lyrics, I love the whole uh, tie-in with the equal sign, which is a, a, a great Easter egg, if that's indeed what was intended. Um, but the thing about the equal sign that kind of stands to me is, is uh, when it says, basically... You equal sign life, kind of like basically like I'm attaching my meaning, my emotional value onto you, um, to where if we're separated in any way, I need to learn how to get my heart to beat again, how to continue, um, and it's just kind of all those you know uh, tough emotions that are associated, I suppose, with you know with heartbreak and things of that nature. Um, kind of talking about the pain like it's fresh, like it's the first time. It's not a wound that's seemingly like healing, um, and honestly, that kind of. I don't want to say like a self-deprecating kind of thing, but in the, in the sense of like hope saying like, you know, I have to um, like, like I, I'm making all these mistakes. There's something about me that like I'm not fixing, but you're like, like I'll fix it if I can get back with you kind of thing. Um, at least it seems to like kind of allude to those types of feelings. But all in all, like I, I think um, the lyrics are the lyrics are really deep and it's especially kind of strange for me. Um, not to say that hope is, you know, less of that uh, persona that seems to kind of infuse into those type of songs, but just knowing it's a subunit song and with the choices of, um, you know, these three specifically, um, usually a lot more of the, the painful lyrics seem to be something that Suge kind of um, talks about. So I was really interested in, and I love that Hope is on this as well, because uh, I know he's kind of one of those members who puts on like the cheerful side, but then, you know, when he steps away from that as Hobie, uh, there's a lot more pain behind that as we later come to see in Jack in the Box. So um, I, I just think this was a, a really great pairing of them. And I do love the production behind it. And I love uh, that the bass kick kind of represents a little bit of the, the beating heart uh, sort of aspect. So, yeah, um, like I was talking about earlier, Lo, I know uh, Je is, uh I know it's supposed to be like the opposite of Deja Vu. Um, and it's supposed to be on the type time of... Uh, like being unfamiliar to something that you should know or something like that. 
Jama vu is the experience of being unfamiliar with a person or situation that is actually very familiar. Mm. So we read it, y'all. Don't say y'all don't know what it means. Yeah, I was yeah. paraphrasing. No, no, no. But, uh, I, know that. Yeah. I just wanted to say. It um, but read I, it. yeah, so I knew. Uh, with that being said, I knew the concept for the song could. It was something interesting that could be there and stuff. So it was fun, kind of see how they interpreted that and they like kind of played that out on the track. Um, but go ahead. I know you wanted a little bit more to jump. No, in. I said I'm gonna save it for the live. Oh, okay. Damn, niggas on YouTube. Damn, bro, I can't get that shit, bro. This is one of the best B-sides. Uh, I guess I'll say that part. This is one of their best B-sides, in my opinion. Uh, every every one of their albums has just that B-side that I think is just so amazing. This is the one uh, on Persona. You got Pluto on what you call it on um, Tear. On her is Best of Me. You know, I could go on, but I won't. Hua Young Young Wa has a bunch of them. So, yeah, this this is a God-tier song if there ever was one. Yeah, what I'll say, too, is that um, I think BTS have mastered the art of, um, you know how, like, even songs that people play that are, like, catchy, you really shouldn't play because it's, like, it's really hard to make a catchy song mm -hmm. in general and shit. A lot of people try it and they, like, fell. Um, and some people never get a hit. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody just, else's formula. Yeah. The, they do this thing where, like, they can take any type of concept they want. And we've literally seen RM talk about just being in a museum, mm -hmm. seeing something, and just kind of, like, running with that. Um, and make the song catchy, heartfelt at the same time, very emotional and impactful to whoever is listening. So I just think, like, that's very, like, they, no one else does that a lot. And I think they've mastered that element in the K world. And you have... I'm not gonna say people trying to replicate it, yeah. but if anything, I think it's gonna be a I lot of think people. Some people should replicate it. That's uh -oh. the problem. A lot of people. That's the people wonder why BTS is now, so now successful. Now throw they turn up songs in the trash. Not just throw hey, them nah. in the trash, but like, damn, maybe. So, you should, nah. I, I feel like they set a blueprint. If you want their success, shit, maybe try their blueprint on a project instead of being like, nah, we're just gonna digitally, you know, give you a bunch of digital ear junk to kind of, and this is not everybody, and this ain't shots either, but I'm just saying, as far as like certain people, they'd be like, why they're not successful, or why they're not doing this. Mm -hmm. Take a look at what they're doing at their, their songwriting and everything they're not doing. They're not just getting all of their songs from camps and, you know, stuff like that. They're actually letting the people go out and experience stuff in this. RM fucking wrote Spring Day, taking a walk through the park. Mm -hmm. Like he thought about it, walked through the park. Damn, I miss my friends from high school. Mm -hmm. That's a, that'll be a cool song. And now, look, it's still charting to this day on the guy on charts. Over yeah, there, that so. shit hard, though, because everybody don't got, like, an RM. This nigga like, could yeah. be walking in a park and tripping. He'd be like, damn, I fell. I <laughs> think I fell, in, I fell in love. <laughs> She's tripping. To the uh, oh. <laughs> to the oh. He said, falling in this grass, oh, perpetual, <laughs> the perpetual fall. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other B sides from BTS we should be reacting in them too. Also, happy birthday, Jen, again. Birthday, Jen. You guys need to jump on the uh, Patreon. It's um, it's a lot of content for Jen on there. Also, shout out to RM. Indigo is fucking fire. We're going to be doing some more uh, B sides on Indigo and to see if anything live dropped from him. Shout out to y'all. Love your army. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. Care.